According to reports, Meghan Markle signed with Hollywood talent agency William Morris Endeavour back in April, but the Duchess of Sussex is yet to announce her upcoming projects. Not body know about her Hollywood plans, except for the fact that most Hollywood A-listers are distancing themselves both from Prince Harry and Meghan. In a big career move, Meghan signed with William Morris Endeavour, WME, which has also represented major stars including Adele, and tennis player Serena Williams. Mirror reported that PR expert Karen Elsby has told that Meghan will be a major coup for the agency. It is good business to have her on their roster. It is also good for Meghan having a prestige agency. However, it's been three months since the news broke and we've heard nothing since. This is a longer period of time than is typically expected for a new client to secure deals, which suggests that Meghan may be struggling to find her footing in Hollywood. An insider disclosed that WME, William Morris Endeavour, has entered into a short-term contract with Meghan, lasting only six months, as a trial period. Consequently, this contract is slated to conclude in October. WME CEO Ari Emanuel had refrained from signing Meghan during a challenging period of four years. He eventually decided to sign her, likely due to the belief that Harry possesses astute judgment and awareness of reputations. There's speculation that the urging to sign Meghan came from Ari Emanuel, a prominent advisor associated with Big Brother Obama, as part of a larger scheme to diminish Meghan's influence and prominence. The origins of the story involving Air Force One remain uncertain. Neither the White House nor Meghan herself propagated it. Could it have originated from WME? While lacking concrete evidence, it's plausible that this situation is an elaborate ploy to relegate Meghan into obscurity, with Ari serving as a suitable medium. Many individuals find credence in this theory for several reasons. Harry and Meghan are a diplomatic nightmare. He's not just any foreigner, he's the son of a sitting monarch. He's embarrassed King Charles numerous times and forced the U.S. government to be involved through the lawsuit about Harry's visa. Harry has displayed a certain lack of discretion. WME might have taken them under their wing to discreetly monitor the Sussexes, given their close proximity to palace affairs. Currently, there's a prevailing notion that Meghan and Harry's reputation has suffered, with some prominent figures in the industry labeling them as opportunistic freeloaders. Prospects of securing financial backing for future projects seem bleak. Their primary claim to fame was their critique of the royal family, which is no longer a lucrative avenue due to their estrangement from the royal family. On the other hand, Hollywood is distancing themselves from Harry and Meghan. Despite Meghan's prior ties to Hollywood, her and Harry's contacts in the industry are moving to Kate and William. According to the Mirror Report, after being snubbed in the Emmy nominations, the pair are reportedly seeing their empire fall around them. An insider believes Prince William and Kate may be the reason. In fact, both Harry and Meghan are busy tracking down their Hollywood enemy who sabotaged them. Going back to why Hollywood A-listers and other celebs in UK are distancing themselves from Harry and Meghan, a source told Heat magazine, nobody wants to risk their standing in the UK by not being seen as Team William and Kate. Meghan Harry's depleting celebrities and industry key players are recognizing Meghan and Harry's depleting popularity and are scared of being seen alongside them. In fact, the source said they are actively pitching William and Kate for new projects. Their efforts are reportedly being backed by King Charles himself. It is only part of the strategy of maintaining American ties and influence. In September, Will and Kate will appear in New York at the Earthshot Prize Innovation Summit, further solidifying their influence.